Hey guys, it is me, Josh, aka the Joskar, here on YouTube and on Twitch. And today I've noticed that people have been asking on my recent Riolu and Lucario videos, how do you get Riolu to evolve anyways? Y'all, it's kind of using some clips from my shiny Riolu hunt, my shiny Riolu evolution video, and from evolving my Cosmog video to show you kind of how happiness values work, how to change night to day and day to night. This video does require you to have completed the game to do most of these things. However, it is not necessary for you to complete the game to evolve Riolu, but it'll be much, much easier if you do. In order to evolve Riolu, you have to level it up during the day with a high friendship value. So the first step is that you need to catch a Riolu. Uh, this Riolu I'm evolving to a Lucario. I'm not killing it, no. Bad advice, Cody, because you can get levels from catching it. A bit of advice, if this is a Pokemon you really want and you still have your friend ball, you might consider using your friend ball to catch this Pokemon. Unfortunately, the friend ball is actually pretty rare in Pokemon Sun and Moon, so you're only going to have one of them. So what can you do if you don't want to use your friend ball? Well, there are actually a couple of ways that you can level your friendship on your Pokemon without using a friend ball. One of them is to have a massage. Another one is to eat certain types of berries. You can also walk around. And in addition to that, you can level up your Pokemon. The first thing that I did was fly to the massage parlor in Kony Kony City. There we go. Let's go get that massage for Riolu. Aww. There we go. You're allowed to get these massages once per day. If you were to actually only use massages to raise your friendship values, the massages actually stop being as effective the more of them that you have. The higher that happiness value, the less the massage is worth. So it'd probably take a couple weeks of just doing massages, but that's one valid method. Mm -hmm. The next thing that I should have done for my Riolu was use some of the happiness raising berries that are out there. They do kind of mess with your stats a bit, and as I learned with my type Null, which you're about to see, if you haven't done any sort of EV training yet, there's nothing for them to take. And so I probably should have done this with Riolu in the first place, saved myself a bit of time. Its speed can't go any lower. Also in Kony Kony City, you are going to find an NPC who can check your Pokemon's happiness values. The number that you are looking for is actually 220. That is the friendship level at which Riolu evolves. That actually falls into the range of 200 to 254, which would give you a message from the NPC of you clearly love your, insert Pokemon's name here, and you must spend a lot of time together. That message being shown on the screen means you are very close or that you have reached the friendship level that you need. Another valid friendship message for this particular Pokemon would be, My, it feels incredibly close to you. Nothing makes it happier than being with you. That is a friendship value of 255. That is maxed out. So if you get either of those two messages, your Pokemon is ready to evolve. Unfortunately for me, because the 200 to 254 range is on both sides of the number you actually need. I actually had not gotten enough happiness the first time I went and checked and I went out and tried to evolve my Pokemon. So I ended up having to do a little bit more. Someone tell me if they know this is considered daytime or nighttime. You beat the Pokemon League, you're going to start breeding your Incineroar, then put up the level one Littens. That's cool. I, uh, I uh, bred my uh, Decidueye for a Rowlet, and then I traded for all the other store starters. You clearly love your Riolu, and you must spend a lot of time together. That is somewhere above 200, fam. Okay, so we might be over 220. I'm also trying to figure out how to clean up the audio on the first Riolu, because the first Riolu has really bad audio. That should evolve it. It wasn't that it wasn't high enough. Another method that you can use is to actually just walk around with that Pokemon in your party. It actually ended up being one of the 
bigger methods that I used. Uh, I also used the level up method once as you just saw because I thought my happiness was high enough and it was not. So by leveling my Pokemon, I got some happiness as well. And then I decided I was going to do some more walking around. I was already working on a Masuda method at the time and I had the Pokemon on me most of this Masuda method, but it takes a really long time. But if you're Masuda methoding for something anyways, why not just add Riolu to your party and run in some circles for a while? Because walking is one way, again, to raise that friendship value. It may not be the fastest, but it could be the laziest if you're already going to be Masudaing. It, it really could just be the easiest way to do it. Let's just say you went to Kony Kony City and found out that your friendship values are high enough, but it is now nighttime. You spent the entire day trying to get your happiness value up and it is now nighttime. There's actually something you can do about this. If you've already beaten the game and only if you've beaten the game, you can take your legendary Salgalio or Lunala to either the Altar of the Moon or the Altar of the Sun, depending on what version you're in, and you can go through a warp pole that appears. And this warp pole that appears will actually flip the clock around and flip it from the Altar of the Sun to the Altar of the Moon and vice versa. And by doing so, it will now be daytime for you. The next step would be either to use a rare candy or to level the old fashioned way. Get in a Pokemon battle and defeat some Pokemon. That should do it, right? Got it. Okay, we have to get rid of the Riolu now. Yes, guys, our shiny. Riolu is evolving into our shiny Lucario. We caught this yesterday and I'm going to be adding this into our shiny catching video from yesterday. And there it is. It's so cute. Yes. Congratulations. Your Riolu should now have evolved from a Riolu to a Lucario. Please let me know in the comments below. Did you enjoy this video? Um, this is my first tutorial video for Pokemon. I've only done shiny hunting for Pokemon. I've done a couple tutorials for Sims before, so this is kind of new to me. So let me know if there's anything more you'd like me to expand on. And if you need any more help, please just go to Cerebi or Bulbapedia. They both have really good guides on how happiness and friendship in Pokemon works and how to evolve Pokemon that require happiness. They have lists of Pokemon that evolve through happiness and stuff like that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, good luck evolving all your real lose out there, guys. I hope you have a good evening. Bye, everybody.